friends today i'll do the second video on matrices of class 12 syllabus from the team of teach nagaland now yesterday we have done some basic introduction on what do you really mean by matrices matrix how do we name a matrix now today in this video we shall study about the various types of matrices matrices is the plural form of matrix the first matrix that we are going to study today is about row matrix now what would be a row matrix now a row matrix is that matrix which has only one row a matrix which has only one row that is for example a matrix a denoted by always capital letters five six seven so we can see that this has only one row second matrix is about column matrix similarly a column matrix is a matrix which has only one column that's an again for another example a matrix one two three so we can see that this has also only one column now what will be the order of the first matrix that will be number of rows we have one number of columns we have one two and three so it's going to be one by three now for the second matrix number of rows we have one two three and number of columns one we all know rows by columns always the rows first second the third matrix is called a zero or a null matrix <coughs> Again, from the team of Teach Nagaland, we would request you to kindly tell us about tell about us to more of your friends who might be in need of this video, so that they can study at home and let us help them. So help us reach more and more students. Now, zero matrix or a null matrix is that matrix in which all elements are zero. So it can be of any order. Like for example. A matrix A where all the elements are zero. So this matrix will be called as a zero matrix, sometimes denoted by letter O also. For we have square matrix. Now a square matrix is a matrix in which the number of rows will be equal to number of columns. So the name itself justifies that uh, square matrix. A matrix in which the number of rows will be equal to the number of columns. For example, a 2 by 2 matrix like 1, 2, 3, 4. So this is a 2 by 2 matrix where number of rows is equal to number of columns. We can have 3 by 3 matrix also 1, 2, 3, A, B, C, D, E and F. Students should see to it that this alignment is written properly. The number of rows and number of columns are maintained and written properly. So this is a 3 by 3 matrix. So sometimes just to name, we just write name a matrix A of order 3. So a matrix A of order 3 simply means it is a 3 by, I'm referring to a 3 by 3 matrix of order 3. We have of course a rectangular matrix also, R-E-C-T-A-N-G-U-L-A-R, rectangular matrix. A rectangular matrix will be that matrix in which now number of rows will not be equal to number of columns like one two three four five six so this is like we have two rows and three columns <clears throat> next up we have what do we mean by diagonal elements of a matrix diagonal elements of a matrix now if we assume a matrix a in general as i discussed in the previous video like a matrix a Denoted by the general matrix A i j of order m by n, where they have where we have m rows and n columns, then the elements which correspond to A i j such that or for which for which i will be equal to j will be called as diagonal elements. That is A i i or A j j, where i will be equal to j. For example, like in the matrix A. We have 3, 2, 1, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So in this, we have like this element. How do we name this element? This element is like in the first row, first column. So here we can see that i is 1, j is 1. So 
i and j are equal similarly here this element this is a second row second column so here i is 2 j is also 2 then again lastly 9 that is third row third column i is 3 j is also again 3 so these are called as diagonal elements please remember only where i will be equal to j that is a11 a122 a33 and so on then these are called as diagonal elements then we move on to like what are diagonal matrices what do you mean by a diagonal matrix now a diagonal matrix will be that matrix in which now please remember a diagonal matrix will be definitely a square matrix so diagonal matrix is a square matrix in which all the non diagonal in which all the non diagonal elements are zero that is for example a matrix a where we have six zero 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 one zero 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 two so here we can see that all the non diagonal elements are all zero so in short this matrix a diagonal matrix can also be written as six comma one comma two so these three elements denote that it is a three by three matrix you will be able to identify that that it is a diagonal matrix by the commas that you have in normal matrices like a six one two this simply represents a row matrix but if we have a comma then actually it represents a diagonal matrix so its full form will be six zero 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 one zero 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 two then next up we have scalar matrix now what do we mean by a scalar matrix a scalar matrix is of course a diagonal matrix which also means that it will also be a square matrix so a scalar matrix is a diagonal matrix which also means that it will be a square matrix again but the only condition is that here all diagonal elements are same unlike a diagonal matrix so it is a diagonal matrix with a special quality that is a special property that is for example a matrix a where we have the diagonal elements as one zero zero sorry not one four zero four zero 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 four so here we can see that all the diagonal elements are same so this kind of matrices are called as scalar matrix then we move on to unit matrix so what do we mean by unit matrix again unit matrix is again a diagonal matrix in which all elements are unity that is one that is a matrix a it's generally denoted by i a matrix a where we have one zero 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 one zero 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 one so this is a matrix of order three by three sometimes written as i three we can have a two by two matrix also that is one zero zero one that is of two by two order sometimes written as i two so unit matrix is a matrix in which all the elements are unity then of course we next we move on to comparable matrix c o m p a r a b l e comparable matrices now what do we mean by comparable matrix for example if we assume two matrix matrices a and b then they are said to be comparable if they are of same order that means they should be of the same order that is a by a if it is two by two then b also should be of order two by two three by three three by three so if they are of the same order then we call them to be as comparable matrices for example let's say a matrix a one two three four five six then we have a matrix b a b c d e f so in that case we can say that a and b are not equal but are comparable matrices then of course finally we have equal matrices so a concept is very simple equal matrices two matrices are said to be equal if all the elements if all the elements corresponding elements sorry corresponding if all the corresponding elements are same that is if a is a matrix one two three four so this matrix will be equal to b only if b is also one two three and for in that case only we will say that a is equal to b that is all the corresponding elements should be 
equal so this is where we stop for today so we have discussed about the different types of matrices in the next upcoming video we will i will teach you on how to add and subtract matrices and do some more basic operations or matrices so if you have liked this comment please do comment below and share to your friends also and help us help you by knowing what do you feel about this video thank you